talk about chapters 39 to 51 in When the Sea Turned to Silver by Grace Lynn. Uh, this is an amazing book and has won the National Book Award. Uh, so this is a part of the series of um, there's Where the Mountain Meets the Moon and Starry River of the Sky. And this is the third book in the series. So I hope that you read Where the Mountain Meets the Moon and Starry River of the Sky because all of the books, they're connected and not like just, you know, in a normal series, you're like, um, like the, you know, like they're really connected in the way that, um, uh, you know, event after event after event, right? But this... It's like all mixed up and jumbled in this series. And you really have to like make the connections by or something like, oh yeah, that happened in another book. And oh yeah, so this must be from another book. Yeah, so you always have to make connections. And it's pretty fun and interesting to do that. Okay, so let's just dive in and let's tr start with chapter 39. So I wanted to ask you about the woman's scars. At first, how did you think that she got them? Did you think that they were she got them from like mean people or how many, how did you think that she got them? And then also, um, when the woman, uh, you know, when when Pin Mei and Yi Shen and Lady Meng went into the, this and the woman helped them, right? Do you did you think that the woman was going to um? What did you think about the woman? Uh, and what do you think about the woman now? Um, so, and I want you to use five traits. Well, not five, because we we don't meet her for that long, right? We do meet her, but not for that long. So what about just uh, three traits, okay? Three traits that the woman has. Okay, so one trait, in my opinion, that she has is, um, is generosity, right? She, she gives them like lots of food, you know, porridge. And also, I wanted to ask you about the, um, and then Penmei was like, is that the scars of stingy rice? Oh, oh not stingy rice, right, sorry. Is that the scars of stingy rice, right? And so, okay, and now we go into the scars of stingy rice. So I thought that that was very, very, very interesting. And so, um, yeah, right. What, what? If you had to use one word to describe that um, that story, then what what word would you use? Um, I would say very interesting or peculable. No, no, not peculiar. Sorry. Um, very interesting and yeah interesting i think that interesting okay and so now in this story how did you like this story um from the scale to one to ten and also do you think that um what was your favorite character in the story and your least favorite character and if you had to say one lesson, if you learned one lesson, or do you think there is a lesson in this story or not? And if there is a lesson, then what do you think that is? Uh, I think it's maybe if you're stingy, then you will, then if you are not kind, then you might pay, you know, you will pay. And this can actually happen, um, and you can actually give an example on that. And okay, so, Okay, so let's say um, this story is, you know, clearly not true. Well, to, in this world it is true, but in, in the book world, but still, um, I'm pretty sure that would actually not happen, right? And so, what is one way that if you're not kind, then then you will pay in a way? What what's one way? Um, maybe it's if you're not very kind, then you will have no friends. And that's very lonely. I well, if if I'm not kind, then I um then I would actually um not have my best friends, and that would be very sad. Yeah, because I, my best friends we've gone through a lot, and just the day before yesterday, the day before yesterday, we um we stayed, we played all day, and then at night, like at like seven o'clock. We drove to this drive-in movie theater and watched the new Spider-Man movie, which is No Way Home. So maybe a new Spider-Man movie has come out from that time, but I mean, it's, it's come out in 2021. No Way Home is really an amazing movie. 
Okay, anyway, let's go back to the book. Anyway, so, Pim may rest it, right? And did you have a sense that in the next chapter somebody was going to come to the woman and um, somebody was going to come to the, um, you know, to the woman and then to Pinmei and everybody else and that they were going to try to stop them? Or did you think that um, Pinmei and Yixin were going to go, you know, unscratched, unharmed and there will be no fight? Okay, chapter 41. So... Now, we're, we're going to the black tortoise of the winter, right? Yeah, the black tortoise. So now he wanted to um, make his tongue, right, into a snake because that's the only way for direct communication. So I wanted to ask you, if, you're, if you could like snap off your tongue and make a snake out of it, would you do it or would you be like, no way? Um, and if you would want to do it, then what kind of snake would you like it like it to be? Um, personally, I think um, I've always wanted like a cobra thingy, so I'm pretty sure like a cobra. Even though it would be a little unpleasant, like, and then like, you know, snake comes, so not that unpleasant, you know? And if you had been um, the, the black tortoise, what kind of power would you have not like let, I mean because the black tortoise he has like bite off his tongue snake what well, would you also want that power or would you like maybe the ear turns into a rhinoceros or like a finger turns into something else like you know actually I would like that if like maybe one of my fingers like my my one of my least useless toes the the little toe maybe that could turn into a i don't know hmm. i have to think about that but anyway so we're getting into this more right and were you surprised when this the tongue turned into a snake or were you like okay so it's unpleasant so maybe it's like a snake thingy well how did you react towards snake Okay, now chapter 42. So it started with this. What is this? Who is that? Right? And, the, and then there's the lack, the, and then there's the master of Hai. Hai, right? Uh, sorry if I didn't pronounce it. And I want you, I want to ask you about these mean masters, right? And the masters of the house of Wu. Well, um, these people are not kind, right? What are five traits that these people have? Oh, uh, okay, I could do a lot of traits, but I would just do two traits. One, mean and rude. And I could do like a million more, but okay. And then suddenly, um, so do you think, um, you know, so Pinmei said that, uh, so in Pinmei's opinion, he was more like an animal, right? And do you, have you met or have you heard of anyone who's like, so mean that they're not really like a human, but more like an animal. And also, I don't really like that animal because animals are really amazing <laughs> animals. Yeah, and creatures. And I just don't like um, that, you know, animals maybe sometimes are bad, which they aren't, right? They're better at surviving than we are. So we have to give the animals some credit, but you know what they're talking about here, right? And then, so, if, if somebody asked you, I mean, not asked you, but like said that you were a beggar, uh, somebody more richer than you, then would you, would you be angry and fight back? Or would you just ignore it? Or would you just, you know, yeah, would you just ignore it? How would you react to that? And also, I wanted to ask you, um, do you think, um, when Pinmei gave the, you know, the, when Pinmei gave the bracelet, the jade bracelet, right, from her arm and said, and gave it to the house of the masters, in return, they would never hit, um, they would never hit, um, Hai again and leave them alone, right? And so, have you ever given something away for the better of something or someone, or maybe for you? Okay, and now also, 
if if you have ever sacrificed something for something else or you know something like pin made did then um how did you feel after that okay and also um and also i wanted to ask you about the um about you know about Heidi, right? And so the the scars, right? They had disappeared from Heidi's face because the because she had like you know done it with the paper razor. She had like you know wiped it. And so now and like at Heidi's feet, there was uncooked rice on on um like right a puddle of it, right? Were you surprised or were you like? Um, wow, that's strange. Yeah, I don't really like that. Um, and anyway, so what I wanted to ask you was, why do you think that the paper of answers, um, you know, made the scars disappear? And anyway, the House of Wu, the masters, right, they came, right? And so they began to wipe their faces, right, because they also had the scars. But it didn't work. And they turned into monkeys. Why do you think that the paper of answers turned high, made um, you know all the scars on Heidi's face disappear, while the masters of House of Wu they turned into monkeys? Why do you think so? And um, also, I wanted to ask you: Do you think you know it because these pe these bad people turned into monkeys? In Chinese culture, do you think what 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 do you think that Chinese people really think about monkeys? I think that maybe you know they are they think that maybe they're naughty. Monkeys naughty? Not very sure about that because I'm, I I do not you know like actually talk with monkeys. If I ever have a chance though, I am going to become like an animal specialist maybe. So then I'll tell you, but that'll be many years from now. So yeah, so I can't tell you right now. And do you like monkeys or do you not like monkeys? And and do you think that the, the masters of House of Wu should have turned into monkeys or some other kind of animal? Because being monkeys, at least they could like re really go fast and like hang and swing around, right? And they're still pretty smart as us, right? And so if you had been the paper of answers, then what would you have transformed these 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 people into? Well, I wouldn't have done like a lion or anything, then they could just attack. So I think that if I had been, uh, I think that I would have turned them into um oh i would have turned them into turnips yeah turnips i think i think that would be pretty cool you know um and then like the turnips yeah i really like that because they can actually rot okay and then anyway um also now uh, now we're gonna go to chapter 44 right if you had been Heidi and you had just lost all your scars how would you feel um and i wanted to use i want you to use a simile um so how you can do it is like i so you could be like i which is Heidi. i felt like um i felt like the okay i felt like an, a bird flying um, to the next, to the mountain. You know, like I felt like, okay, so I felt like a bird flying to the horizon, right? Maybe like that. So that could sort of mean happiness. Okay, and now, so what I wanted to ask you was this. Heidi, she said this. Um, and I'm, I'm gonna actually read this, okay? I was never a beauty, but now I would not trade with the goddess Nua, right? And we get it that the Nua was very, very pretty. And so what I wanted to talk about this was, um, do you think that the, the, the goddess, this, that you would also change your look to look handsomer or, or would you not change? Would you not change your features at all? I would not change my features. Okay, and now suddenly Pimei was like, maybe the sea bottom, maybe this luminous stone is in the sea bottom. 
And do you think that, that it is in the sea bottom? Hmm. Well, I'm not gonna tell you, right? And then Lady Meng said, I know how. Why do you think that Lady Meng knows this? And also, um, also, do you think that it's strange that Lady Meng knows everything? And may, do you think that Lady Meng is like Lady Meng, or do you think that she's some other person that we just don't really know about? Because she knows this, she can make muscles, you know, like there's sparrows and muscles, she can do everything, right? So like, do you think that Lady Meng is just a normal person? Who do you think that Lady Meng is? Hmm. The okay, chapter 35. Now, um, also, now I also wanted to ask you about the snake, right? And because we're going back to the black tourists of the winter. So, there is not, I uh, just want one thing I wanted to talk about this was, do you think that, um, the snake will get the mission done? Or do you think that maybe something will happen to the snake and the mission will not be done? Okay. Chapter 46. So, um, I also wanted to ask you about, um, you know, the, the thread, right? The bracelet of thread, right? And so, do you think that this red thread is, um, do you think that the red thread, what do you think that this means, um, really? And do you think that this um, thread, do you think that it will actually help somebody on one day or not because you know the red thread it might look it might look pretty good right but still do you think that um it's gonna be as the same as the jade bracelet which was really special you know and also um okay so also um lady meng and yi shen they seem to sort of you know know lady meng seems to know something right and yi shen something what do you think that this something is you know there's something here that we just don't really know hmm, what do you think this is okay now um do you do you think that a sea can actually freeze and have you ever seen a, a sea freezing before? Well, I've, of course, I've seen, you know, the Arctic, and of course that's frozen. Well, yeah, not frozen really. There's a lot of icebergs, but I guess it isn't frozen. You know, like icebergs, they float on the water, but mostly it, the sea isn't frozen, right? Even if there's icebergs. So this is very strange, right? What do you, do you think that this is like a good sign that they can walk across the water or do you think that's sort of a bad, creepy sign? And also, now, um, Baima suddenly leaped onto the, the silver sea, right, of ice. Uh, where have you heard silver sea? Maybe the title? When the sea turned to silver, right? Silver sea. Oh, I think that we know what it's talking about, right? And then anyway, suddenly, by Ma, like when the water like went over by Ma, suddenly we learn that by Ma is a long Ma, right? A long Ma, a dragon horse, right? Have you ever heard of dragon horses? I haven't, but I would like one so much. You know, like a dragon horse, like I can ride it, and then suddenly, like, you know, and just a horse would be so cool, and I could ride it, and then suddenly, like, whoom, it's like turns into like a dragon, and it's like, whoo, yeah, it would be amazing. That would be so cool, right? And then, so, when it like plunged into the water, right? Did you think that Pinmei was gonna get lost and hurt? Or did you think that they were finally going to reach the sea bottom? Hmm. You know, it's really exciting here. Okay, chapter 49. So, there were these guards, right? And the guards wanted the stonecutter to begin to carve the emperor's great deeds. Do you think that the, this emperor actually has done lots of good deeds or not? No, right? Okay, anyway, now there's a story of Boxy, and I'm very sure if I didn't, I, I'm very sorry if I didn't pronounce it right, 
But anyway, the story of Boxy was um, this was of the this rock, right? And I wanted to ask you, what did you think about this? I mean, what did you think about this story from us on the scale to one to ten? Um, and also, um, do you what? What's your favorite character in this story and your least favorite character? And do you think that the king's father um, is tricking, right? Do you think that this tricking is going to, like, and so Boxy was still there, stuck in the mud, right? And if, they, if Boxy couldn't move, right, then why do you think that this person wanted the wanted the, the these animals you know when if foxy ha, um you know became a um stone right and now you know hong long hong long hong long i'm very sorry but hong long he did not turn to stone here right and um he did not turn into stone and the dragon disappeared and now the boxy he was a stone and um the, the king's father he had failed right and so he only had a stone statue so all in all what do you think that this uh really the story what what lesson do you think that it shows in this story okay yeah, what lesson? And also, did you, um, also, uh, do you think that if you had been um, the king's father, would you have also done the same just for the good of getting really cool things like a dragon and all that or not? Because dragons are pretty cool. Okay, now chapter 50, right? They, they were like underwater now. What did you think about, what did you think about the place they were? Did you think that it was really cool? Or did you think that it was maybe a little too creepy? I thought it was amazing. Um, and also, would you like to live underwater in this place? Or do you think that even if you, you think that it would be a really good place to travel to, you like, you know, you like above, you like the, you know, ground, solid ground beneath your feet? I'm, I'm not very sure, but I, I think that I would like ground. Also, um, I also wanted to ask you about um, suddenly Baima turned into a stone, right? Uh, do you think that this is the end of Baima, or do you think that Baima can always just pop up as Baima again? And it's just, you know, like if they turn into a stone, it's something sort of like sleeping for the, for the dragons, or maybe resting. And um, do you did you think that do you think that um, this palace right the palace do you do you think that uh, how much money do you think that this palace would be um, in modern times um, because back then it would be like so much money um, and besides. Um, nowadays, you know, tax, every, prices are rising, skyrocketing, right? So how much do you think it will be? I think it will be like millions of dollars, maybe even a billion dollars, like millions and millions and millions of dollars. So I, I, I'm pretty sure I couldn't buy that thing. Okay, now I wanted to ask you about the man, right? And who, who did you think who did you think that this man was? And then finally, we we suddenly know that it was joy to the heart, right? And so it began. So so now this was the fish that this was the fish that was given to the first king of the bright city of Moonlight, right? Were you surprised, or um, were you already too surprised so much that this this fact wasn't that above a big deal? I was clearly surprised. And if you have been Pinmei and you met the fish that was given to the first king of the city of Moonlight, how would you feel? Um, and I want you to use a simile for this. And also, how would you react? Would you be like, would you be like tongue-tied, or would you be like, oh my god, hi, wow? How would you be like? And also, um, the princess. Um, 
what I wanted to ask you about that was, so he, he, so the man said, I hope that she's doing well, right? And we see that she left a long time ago. So, um, where, who do you think that this princess is? Do you think that we've met her already or not? And this princess, whoever she is, do you think that um, we will meet her? We will meet her as we keep on reading, or do you think it's just go it's just like a side story? Okay. But anyway, also now they are going to meet the Sea King, right? Oh, it's going to be pretty exciting. What do you predict is going to happen next year? Um, well, do you think that the Sea King is going to be a kind man or a mean man? And do you think that they're going to find the luminous stone that lies tonight here or not? Okay, so before you guys go, I just wanted to talk about one more thing. And it's um, about ancient China, okay? And the really, really awesome thing that you could do here. Okay, so I, I, I have two activities that you could do, okay? And um, number one, you could make a board game. I know you're like, a board game? What are you talking about? So what you could do was like, you know, make a regular, you know, board, sort of like Monopoly or whatever, and then you could like a board game. So I think that I would do like, I will model it after Monopoly or, I, I don't really care. But anyways, like there's this road that the characters have to follow, but it's modeled after this book. So like, there's like, you have to meet Bai Ma and you have these many points. If you go to the Sea Palace, you have these many points. And you, you know, sort of like that. And I, th I think, I thought that would be very, very interesting. Okay, but anyway, uh, so, and another thing that you could do is like make, uh, make just like, you know, I really like pop out. So maybe you could like make this like really long paper road or whatever. And then you could like put the things, the really cool things that the characters did like here and then there. And then they're like in order and like, like, you know, like pop up or like maybe pictures or whatever you want to do. And that would be really, really, really cool. Yeah, so that's that's two activities that I that are very fun and I advise you to do them. Just optional, but they're still very fun. Okay, now let's go to the last questions. What was your favorite character? Your least favorite character, okay? And then how do you like the book so far? Always fun to keep track of the of how you like it. Maybe a chart would would be fun to look at, you know? You like the book here and then you hate the book here, you like it, you hate it, you like it, you hate it. He keeps on going like this. Or maybe you just keep on liking it or keep on hating it. I don't know. Okay, and also I wanted to ask you, um, what was your favorite part in the chapters that we reviewed and then the whole book so far? Or is your favorite, um, is your favorite part the same here? Okay, okay, anyway, so we have finished for today and I hope that you really enjoyed being with me. And so have a great rest of your day or night because I always want to be here tonight. Keep reading because it's awesome.